Hello, hello, hello friends and sunflowers. How are you? Welcome to my channel, Simply Sophia. Today we're going to talk about five simple things that will help you organize your life. Number one, you've heard this one many times, it's nothing new, but, and that is making your bed. Uh, apart from, you know, getting up and being thankful and giving gratitude for the day and stretching and, you know, praying if you do that and meditating, definitely making your bed makes you feel accomplished, like you've definitely done something. Number two is Ohio. Not the state, but Ohio is an acronym for only handle it once. Okay? Only handle it once. Once you adapt it, it'll make things quicker and easy for you. For example, your, your dishes. So you've eaten a great meal and or you had brunch at home and you don't just leave your dishes in the sink. Wash them right away. They're already in your hands. Wash them. Another example is if you're just doing anything in general and you are focused on that one task, just get that done. Honestly, in my opinion, my opinion, there's no such thing as multitasking or at least not on a high level. Just finish it and then move on. Number three clean up as you go. Now, this is important because sometimes by the end of the week, um, some people clean at the end of the week and you feel like there's just so much, so much to do. You have your clothes all over the place, you have your um, papers, you have all types of things. Um, all over the place. So you just want to clean up as you go. Um, for example, the bathroom. Clean up during the week. So throughout the week, just a little bit, and by the time the weekend comes, your big cleaning is not much to do because you've already kind of chipped away at that during the week. So clean up as you go could also go back to, like say if you're cooking, while something is boiling, you could be washing the dishes. Um, while something is baking, you could uh, put away the spices, things like that. Uh, so cleaning up as you go definitely makes the process easier. So we're at number four. Number four is creating systems. Create systems. Create a system for every task that you do as much as possible but as much as you can for example something that I do or I've recently um, implemented in the last year is when I get mail in when I go get the mail at the mailbox the first thing I do is sort it right away whatever's junk mail I shred it right away throw it out right away and whatever I need to handle actually goes in a specific place. So depending on their bills or something I need to take action on immediately or something I need to file away, I have separate bins for those. And then further, my next system is um, every Saturday at a specific time is time to file. So I'll take whatever is in that bin and go file it away. I may not do it right away, but I'll put it in that bin so when the alert comes on my phone, says, okay, it's time to file away, then we file away. And that actually leads me to number five, which is designate a space for everything. So if you notice, we've gone through all five of my uh, tips, habits to adopt. You notice they're all kind of interchangeable. Notice as we go through the five um, tips and habits, they all are related. I had a space for my bills that need to take action 
and a space for papers that need to be filed away and a space for whatever I needed to um, take care of right away. So designate a space for everything. If I go out and I take those boots down and I'm going to wear them, when I come home, I don't leave them by the door because I don't wear shoes in the house. I don't leave them, you know, by my entrance. I try to take them up right away and bring them back to where they belong. You know, so that's just an example. So if I'm doing laundry, I do it right away and once it's dry, once everything is dry or just a little bit at a time, every load is dry, I put it back, I fold everything up or hang it up right away. Only handle it once, right? You see how it, they're all related? So I only handle once. I do the laundry, hang it up, fold, and then it has its space. So I make sure it's in the space that it sh should be. So I'm going to add a little bonus to this um, list of five. Bonus is everything has its place, which is also then related. Uh, all right, I have a bonus tip. <laughs> I have a bonus tip for you. Okay, here it is. Bonus tip is that keep everything in sight. So I don't know if you heard this before, in sight, in mind. It's a very true, kind of keep everything out in the open because what's hidden is, again, the reverse, out of sight, out of mind. And keeping everything out and open allows you to see everything. So for example, I'm just using example because we're here. Um, I keep everything as far as the clothes or my shoes that I want to wear out in the open and organized so I can see everything because I will most likely wear it if I see it. If I don't see it, I probably won't wear it. So the bags that I have in maybe bins, I, I, I will probably won't think of it. I will most likely go to whatever is visible, whatever I can see. Same thing with your food. So in your refrigerator, um, Sometimes it's great, if you notice, sometimes they have those clear bins, um, containers in the stores. It's because it's so much easier for you to grab what you see in the refrigerator. So, tr and so those clear containers help you to kind of see. Also, that goes to keeping your, this is related, unrelated, but keeping your refrigerator clean. Because when you keep it clean and spaced properly, you're most likely going to go for the food that you see. So in sight, in mind, and you're going to be like, oh, I need to cook that uh, Swiss chard. I can have that for dinner tonight. And it won't spoil because you can kind of see it and it's organized. Okay, so those are my five habits for leading an organized life. Of course, these are not the end all be all five tips um, the only tips that you need in life this is just really a small sample of what you can do to be more organized also I would make uh, one recommendation is that you tackle one habit at a time maybe for 30 days I think what did I say I think they say you need 30 days to create a habit I think so. I may be wrong. Put that in the comments um, if you know how many days, what I'm trying to say. But definitely take your time. If it's overwhelming for you, try one thing. Try making your bed for 30 days. Just try to keep at it and then move on to the next thing. And uh, creating systems, you know, cleaning as you go. So try each habit one at a time if it's overwhelming for you. Uh, and then let me know what you think um, also if you're already doing these habits definitely drop down in the comments and let me know how has these um, habits and tips helped you and then also maybe there's some new tips and how well there are there are many what am I saying <laughs> but la leave some below in the comment section also before you go if you enjoyed this video and you got anything out of this video 
please leave a like and support the Simply Sophia channel. You know, we're new here to YouTube and I appreciate your support. And I appreciate if you've watched this along, well, it's not a long video, but if you watched to the end of the video, I appreciate you. Thank you so much. And um, so three things, drop a comment, leave a like and subscribe, subscribe. Join the Simply Sophia family. Um, I'm happy to welcome you in to the Simply Sophia family and I'm just so happy you're here and look forward to our journey together. All right, so I will see you in the next one. Bye.